All right, so uh, I picked up my uh, turbo for Big Dirty yesterday. Uh, it's got its own little wastegate onto it and everything and stuff, and it's pretty awesome. I, I, I don't know, it, it looks it looks a little smaller than it looks in the truck there. Uh, oh, maybe Pug's just yanking your antler. Oh, shit! Look at the difference in that, eh? Son of a bitch. Holy... That looks pretty nasty, eh? Grimy Garrett friggin' uh, son of a bitch there. Brand friggin' new. Got the, the steps machined off it on the intake side so it shall, shall flow smoother. And look at this. That's all Horton's trays. Come here, stand beside this, Mike. Oh, Horton's on the bench, buddy. This is like having, like, like yeah, having we're trying to get it higher than having a kid. Higher than Mike, you know what I mean? When are you going to get it higher than Mike? i got to go to school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's friggin', uh, it's friggin' 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we don't do mornings well, do we, buddy? Oh, shit. We don't do mornings well around here. So we got to listen to barking dogs from friggin' 20 after 6 on. So, yeah. Yeah! Okay, this is going to be the last, last start up with this turbo and exhaust. Yeah. Okay, so there's the uh, plastic wire sort of loom thing. This is just to get the wire out and away from the uh, the turbo under there or whatever where it's hot. So I got the uh, got that cardboard set up. I got the intake uh, pipe off. It goes from down there up and around to right there. And then now I just got to get the uh, uh, they're all 11 mil all the uh, clamp bolts for the intake and the exhaust and then obviously these uh, hose clamps here will all have to come off so I can get some room in there and hopefully with a little bit of finagling I can uh, dig that bitch out of there had to take the degas bottle off a little bit just cause uh, there's the one uh, one hose going to that little antler right there so 5 16 bolt for the two bolts um, up there or whatever so yeah, getting uh, getting her started there, and uh, we'll see how she goes. Little tip for you: uh, if you uh, your clamps, your exhaust clamps, that clamp, uh, the, the turbo to the exhaust, uh, sons of bitches there. Get a little. Don't want to do it on the clamp itself, but on the exhaust or on the turbo, just. <laughs> And uh, it'll pop off there, so it's like a three-piece clamp thing with a ring around it. That and I got the top two off, but the bottom one just wasn't going to come. So we're going to fix that. Yeah. Well, I'm having trouble getting this clamp off. I got the one side off, but the uh, far side's stuck on there. So I just give her a little penetrating son of a bitch. I don't want to get too carried away with the with the uh, chisel there against the turbo but I uh, just got the uh, drain tube down so it's a good idea to use paper towel to plug the hole in that just because um, paper towel will break down and dirty old rag fibers and stuff getting in there will uh, plug up the old screens and whatnot so good idea to use paper towel. One of the world's greatest inventions mini ratcheting 10 mil wrench Well, that's just bullcrap. 
well, even though other, you know, this is the easy one to get to right here. The other, uh, the other side's dinked. Ah, but once I get this out, I will show you what we're after. This one's really easy to get to. Okay. Ah, there we go. Don't got much room to, to no, not much swing. Let's see if I can get it with my hand now. Oh, of course not. And this last one is just a friggin' prick. Ah. Oh yeah, buddy. The last bolt. Oh. The last better. and hardest to get to bolt. Oh, I figured. Yeah, but she's coming up. Loosen so, the boot. So I like the tranny. Yeah, what? So I like the transmission. They're always that one hard to get to. Oh. It's freaking right at the top. Who's like it? Couple extensions with that elbow. Uh, now I just need to figure out a way to get my hand down in there to uh, get that bolt out of there. Son of a bitch. Probably couldn't, probably couldn't see anything with me in there like that. Uh, nope, I can't get her that way. I'm gonna have to get right up on this bitch. You want the gauge up? Oh! Yeah, I might as well. Make sure it don't break you. You're, you're taking it, you're taking off? Oh, I apologize. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Get my mitten. Oh, shit. Ah, I can feel it. I just can't turn it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you've got to be joking. This has got to be a funny joke. Playing a funny joke on Pugger, you son of a bitch. Ouch, my knee! Oh. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm breaking my truck. Shit, I need that. Son of a bitch. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah. You know you want to come out. You know you want to come out. Ah. Oh shit. how the, the clamps work it's just like sort of a two-piece thing flat side comes together so there's like a little rim that gets up in there so then you clamp it down and of course it's tapered you can see the edge there's tapered right there so it brings it as you tighten it it brings those two flat surfaces together around there but uh, yeah sometimes you'll get the top two off and this bottom one will stick you just get it Get rid of the old shot of the stuff there, but I guess uh, I guess it's time to uh, cut that exhaust out. We got a paper towel in that hole. Because you do not want to let anything in there. Yuckers! It looks like. 
somebody had their way with Big Duty's spigot hole. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, whew. Found it, yeah. I'll give you guys a little shot here once I get my uh, hands cleaned up. Okay, so there's Big Dirty without the uh, without the uh, turbo into her. Apologize, apologize. But yeah, so if you, uh, you just want to leave your uh, clamps sort of sitting there, and then you can. I'm gonna put the other one on there. Obviously, it kind of come off with the turbo, but. You see, when you're taking it off, you want to pull it straight up off this drain tube, right? And then you got a hole, a bolt there, a bolt there, and then the, and the 04, they changed this. It used to be coming in from the back, so you'd have, you know, a thing like this coming up at the back, too, and your bolt would go in this way. But now they've, on the turbos, for uh, 04 and up, they've put this anchor on the back. So this son of a bitch would be sitting in there like this. So you got the one. There's this. This to be the front. You turn your uh, oil uh, feed line. You got the one in the back, and then you got one in the front. And these pins here, the pin there, right uh, there. So those pins just sit on that little, on that little shoulder right there. Oops, just on that little notch cut out. And then there's the same on that other side, and then, uh, so yeah. Whoo! Job well done, Pug. Oh, pat on the back. Yeah.